Welcome everyone to another episode of La Plata, where we are going to start paying back our loans here soon. Because that interest is starting to insanely annoy me. Like, we're paying 151 interest. What the heck is up with that? That's just way too much interest. It's also putting a lot of our people into problems, which I don't really like. But, yeah. Anyways, though, we're going to go crush most of the uh, Colombian rebels that start to spawn. It shouldn't be too hard because Colombia is not really that hard of a state to conquer. And then we also have to deal with uh, Brazil. We're going to soon attack Brazil to go take over this region right here. Of, you know, very little insequential actual resources. But what I'm hoping to actually get out of this is maybe to get sphered. Maybe just to like, um, get Peru and like, well basically puppetize Peru. Because if we could puppetize Peru, then we could, like, do a lot with that. Uh, I don't know why I'm only getting a very limited amount of Kazas Belais against a lot of people. Okay, what do I get against... Oh yeah, Turkey form. <laughs> Let's see. What do I get against you guys? Do I have a pacifistic government in power right now? Yes. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> I was like... Why am I having so much difficulty? I have a pacifistic government, though, that... Okay. Let's see. If I was to go full communist... Okay. So. Keep holding the elections. We need to get the communists now in power. We just got... We just got to a right government that could actually support a lot of this. But now we need the communists in power so that we can actually declare war on people and fight them for the stuff we want. Okay. Let's see, we're now starting to influence Benin because Benin's also part of this region, which is what we want. And we already got this region right here, so we can start using this region to go jump off and go kick other people's butt over here. That's probably, you know, that's probably why I can't actually colonize and take over any of these regions. Mm hmm Because that pacifistic government in power. Yeah. Okay. Violent elections. But first, let's pay back all of our interests. Once we pay back all of our interests, then I'll start building up our economy again. Uh, pacifism, no, we want jindoism. No, we definitely want, you know, I'll go pro-military, okay? I don't want to quite go jindoist, but I definitely don't want to be this. I'm definitely pushing more the communist agenda, agenda, I should say. Uh, let's see. To war jindo, we don't want jindo. Uh, alright. 10% pro-military, we could go 10% pro-military. Um... Gain two infamy, gain a... Uh, nah, it's not worth it. <laughs> I was reading the event, it's just not worth it. Okay. And all these factories just keep collapsing, because I need to... I need to get this... First, I need to get this money situation sorted out. Once this money situation sorted out... That I can start actually figuring out my factories and figuring out good ways to build factories and not just cheaply, crappily made factories made by the capitalist. Seriously, the capitalists suck at making factories. They just suck. Okay, so let's see, we paid back. Let's get another good 100k in there. That way it helps decrease the interest, which is what we kind of want to do. Let's see, what do we want? We want full citizenship. Um, so go that way. <laughs> like, so go that way. Let's see, how much more do we have to pay? Literally 218k, which is giving us a lot of money. Yay! Full citizenship! Yay! People in the middle class are kind of dying! Yo, it's most of the artisans! Yay! Can we please kill off all the artisans? I mean, I really would not be sad if they were gone. I really would not be... Uh, help, help in any way the military. We're trying to really curve for that communist takeover. Okay, advanced small arm factories, okay. Let's get most of this debt paid off from the British. There we go. Interest is now really down, which is really helping us out. The Roman Conference, oh shoot, that means it just started. Okay. Yep, okay, General Act of Roma, formalized the of Africa, yep, okay. Shoot, we need to get these guys out of power soon. Very, very quickly. Okay, um... Just fire war. Do I, ah, I still don't have it. Okay, come on guys, come on, become, you know what I could do, is I could also, like, encourage communism everywhere, 
encourage communism in the top three because this is I still have base by population I do believe right let's see I have been what is it is based on population yes okay so I based on population so all I have to do is just make sure my top three regions are just you know being as communistic as heck so that we can try to curve the vote to being mostly just commies because as I say if if you have a communist in power you'll have production and I don't know what I'm saying right now I'm just gonna be quiet yay fight for our country no we want full military residency we want some limited citizenship if we go towards linear citizenship it's not gonna be bad okay pay off the rest of our loans there we go okay we are now officially loan free all the loans have been paid off which means I'm gonna get about 100k what Damn it, did we just get these guys back in power? Oh, god damn it, we got these guys back in power. Okay, let's see. If I wanted the communistas to win, the communistas actually have a decent chance to win. So let's keep holding the election. Let's hope, let's keep hoping that our economy and people just keep switching more towards that. Um, sign a Geneva Convention. If you're against a powerful person, I'm sorry, I can't help you out, Sakanto. Oh, you're against... Eh. I, I, I don't know why Mobasi did that. It seems like they just, like, killed themselves. But, okay. If they want to beat my little state into submission, they could try, but... I'm definitely not, like... I'm definitely not gonna let you do that. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's see. Still could sign a Jeep Convention. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but wait, does that mean we can finally start justifying wars against people? Oh, yes! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is even better. Uh, am I at war with Benin? Wait, who am I at war with over here? I'm at war with Mumbasi. Okay, that's who I'm at war with, so... Okay, I think I got, I think I got a good handle on this. I'm gonna go send an army down here. And... What we're going to do is, as soon as I get to 100k, I'm going to start influencing and start building up my new economy. Uh, we want to definitely move towards planet economy. Definitely move towards planet economy. Like if we could, if we could get planet economy right now, that'd be really nice. Really, really nice. But what we want to get out of in the Benin War, because most likely, I'm pretty sure Sakanto will win this war. Unless they're idiots, they'll win this war. Um, that also means I'm also going to stop increasing relationships with Benin. Well, I can't. But if I could, I'd be stop increasing relationships with them. Because um, we're just going to just outright just annex these guys. You know, just the old peaceful way. Oh, Britain's going to get all this region. Wow. They're going to get a ton of land. And Ethiopia? Whoa, they're going to become big. They're going to be a big power in this. Okay. But anyways, we're going to try to conquer a little bit more of that. We have the Panama Canal basically sealed sealed up when we want to use it. So we don't have to worry too much about that. And not many people are going to fight us over it. Let's see. We want protectionism. Uh, protectionism is moving towards either two ways. Let's see. Socialism, communism, 2.1%. Uh, yeah, that's what we want to keep doing. Okay. Hold election. An election can not be held just yet, but we're curving. We're slowly starting to curve everyone's ex expectations because we're creating very strong communist fronts in all of our three most popular, you know, places. Colombia is again in revolt. Like I thought, I did. I thought this was going to happen. This is why I kept an army over here. So we're just going to casually go crush all their, you know, rebels probably really easily. Uh, you guys go over here. Let's see. Um, we're now starting to win this. Uh, and I think this is probably going to be our first African conquest. Our trade debate. We want protectionism. We want to move more towards protectionism. That's definitely what we're trying to move towards. Uh, laissez-faire. No, we want planned economy. And let's see. Has Benin lost enough to where I can start adding war goals? No. Okay. When I get my army over there, we're going to start crushing these guys. And we're going to start, like... Seriously destroying them. Oh, and there's a colonizational front. That means we are definitely in colonizational lands. Uh, 
Okay, naval base not quite good enough yet. You know, we should be good. Alright, and let's see, social sciences. Get social science too, that way we can get educational efficiency. And let's see, we got 300k, that means... Oh yeah, we can't build up any of these right now, because... <sighs> we're trying to curve stomp our... Our nationalists, so we can get them out of power again. But the four dies of Rio de Janeiro! Alright, atheism. Did anything... Okay. Give me that. Let's see. Uh, hopefully this... We're trying to curb stomp the uh, idealist. Communism is like 15% of our people right now. It's 14. Which is good. We're starting to get... We're starting to get what we need to get in power. We basically... We basically need to wait until these two are about even. Because if they're about even, then... Let's see. 15, 15... Both these guys combined make up about 29% of the power. Not quite enough to overpower the uh, automatons or the regular guys. But good enough. Let's see. Over here. Not surprising. Okay. Go right here just to make sure we get that capital region unseized. Because I can deal with the rest of this. Just need to make sure the capital region is unseized. There we go. Okay. Back over here. France seems to be doing its major Frenchy thing. And now we're winning enough to where I believe I can have more score. Nope, not yet. Still. Still not yet. Okay. Socialism still not taking power. Uh, keep holding an election because we want to keep curve, curving the public mind more towards what we want to be. Which is, I've already told you what you want to be. And since I can't build my factories right now, that's also really annoying me. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Uh, protectionism. Yes. 30% more protectionism. More in favor of this kind of stuff. Yes, please get to 16. That's actually a very, a very big jump. Already at 16%. Okay. So we need to keep converting more and more people to to the Loyalist Communist Party. Oh, we yum. Yum, we yum. Oh, we. Okay, pluralism. I don't really care. Either way, get them out. Uh, secret ballot, non secret ballot. I, I don't think it really matters at this point. I thought we already, I thought we already settled this. Yay, more communists. Um, I thought we already settled this a long time ago. Okay. Uh, voters, I really do care about 11, 15, 39. We need to keep making that original party weaker. So if we can get the uh, socialists and the communists to just team up together to make a very powerful voting franchise, we could like seriously boost everything. Yeah, you see what I mean? This is like... Everything in St. Paulo knows what it's doing. Is St. Paulo one of those places I'm actually encouraged? Yes! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh man. Okay, St. Paulo is almost certainly going communist in my respects. Okay. Uh, brilliant. Uh, reactionary, reactionary, we don't need limited. Full citizenship, we need that. Okay. Baldi should have a really bad time. I want you guys to be established a protectorate over. Wish I could have done it with less. With less prestige, but once Sokanto, my favorite little region, conquers the rest of this, I'll just end the war. Planned economy. I'll just end the war. Uh, well, we don't want to become pacifists, but we don't want to become jindoist. If that makes any sense to you. Okay, let's see. We're going to conquer all this region. Analytic philosophy. Divine interventionism in my main places it's good okay where is that ships okay where are my ships oh there they are hmm hey before I do anything military shoot percent more socialism hmm. yeah there's no way I can turn back I just have to keep going hopefully I won't die oh man this is this is really kind of crucial oh man I might lose a big gigantic army here soon guys okay were they carrying can carry were they carrying no men they were carrying absolutely no men what the heck okay well 
You know what? That's actually fine with me. If, if they actually carry no men and if they die, I don't care. You know what? That's... If that happens, that's a happy history for me. Because you know what? I'm glad there were no people actually involved that will die at sea over here. So what that basically means though is I'm probably going to have to make a new, entirely new army. And... I'm going... Oh! Guys! Be right back for a second. Okay guys, we are back. And sorry about that. Apparently some of my family members from North Carolina wanted to chat with me and... Well, as I say, family comes first. So, anyways though, we're back, and trust me, that won't this won't discount for time or anything like that. I'm not gonna like, you know, be a jerk and say like, oh, because you because of that call, now we only have two minutes. Bye! Nah. I'm just gonna be okay, keep holding elections. We're gonna get these guys out of power eventually. Eventually we will. It's just gonna take me a little bit. Um Yeah. As we can see, well I, I already killed off most of my um Army, again, well, my ships are all dying again, so I'm not even gonna try to save them, but, yeah, we do have a high amount of taxes going around right now. Let's see if we can go about 70%, because I want to start, I want to start getting some decent taxes going again. I want to push, actually, I want to push for 60. Can we push for 60? I'm pretty sure we can go to 60, because I'm not, right now, I don't really care too much about our income. Because I have enough right now to rebuild my economy again, so it's not like I really can't do too much. But, um, seems like these guys are being idiots. They're not attacking the main army of Benian, so we can just go in and go kill them. So it seems like we're gonna have to go attack them ourselves. Um, which means we're gonna have to build up ships again, which means it's gonna take us a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> Be waiting on that, and let's see. We still got our army over here just chilling out. In our good old places of Leplantine. Um, in fact, you know, I just thought of this. Maybe what we should do, because since I do want to fight Brazil, and it's really, I'll be honest with you, it's really not going to be that hard to defeat Brazil. It's going to be like, uh, it's going to be insanely easy. But actually, now that I think about it, I actually will want to take, I want to be basically making Peru a puppet of mine, so... Maybe I should hold off for a little bit because if I make Peru my puppet, that's gonna cost me at least another 10 infamy, which is gonna cost me a lot. So wow, you guys just formed it. You guys just formed like a triple alliance against me. You guys really think I'm going to attack? Hey, America! No. Wait, America, you aren't supposed to be down here. This is mine. All this is mine. You get that. You get Mexico. I get everything down here. You don't get Ecuador. No. America. Okay. Anyways, though, we're gonna have to wait until. Basically, we're just gonna have to wait until maybe our alliances will pay off. Maybe they won't. I'm really not sure. I'm kind of hoping maybe I can call these guys in. See if it bounce, whatever. I'm kind of hoping I can call the uh, worry states in. Um. Will they accept? No. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna have to wait until the. So Kanto somehow siege up all the land. Let's see. Plant. Ooh. This one's really nice. Yes, please. Get as many. I'm encouraging the capitalist growth as much as possible. And they're all a lot more communist now. We basically have, tw let's say 20%, 33%. We're almost, we're getting more powerful than the um, other people, which is what we need. We need to become more powerful. Which is a good thing too, because I'm trying to encourage communism as much as possible. We, it's like, it's like we're handing out pamphlets everywhere. Like, come, come to communism. It's the greatest thing in the world. We are, com we are communists and it's really awesome. And I really wish I had my army over there because I really want to be colonizing a little bit. Because I don't really need, because if I'm going to start great wars, once I start getting involved in great wars, I don't need an insanely big army to start fighting in great wars. But I need a decent sized army so that then once we, uh, you know, once they win, or once whoever wins, whatever hap whatever happens, I should say, whatever happens, riots! Let the riots play out their course. Why not? <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on, Zakanto, beat them beeping! I feel like I'm about to go kill these guys, because it feels like they should have won already. You guys are idiots. This is why I'm building my, this is why I'm, yeah, just give me 20, 200% iron. This is why I'm literally building ships 
to go do this for me. Let's see. Ah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, shoot. I forgot to disconnect these. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.